What's up everybody? Today is arm day. I've got two sets of weights. I'm going to use my heavier set for most of these exercises. If I get tired, I'll switch those weights up. We've got nine exercises. We're going through twice. Express. It's going to be quick, fast. But before we get into our weighted exercise, let's get some arm circles forward just to start warming up those shoulders. Let's take those arm circles back. Big circles. Now, let's bring those arms across our chest, out wide, alternating right over left, left over right. And let's reach up, let those arms fall, reach up, let those arms fall one more time, reach up, let those arms fall. Now, let's reach one arm up, we'll reach the other arm down towards the floor, reach high, reach low, and switch. Switch, switch, one more time each side, let's reach both hands and arms forward when we bring those shoulder blades out wide, and up, and let's bend, other side, let's bring those elbows down, Reach behind our back, reach down. And then a couple of shoulder rolls up and back. Our first exercise, we're gonna combine a hinge and an upright row for a quick movement, a high pull. Let's take those shoulder rolls forward. A couple of neck rolls here, side to side. And I think we are ready to go. So grab those weights. You'll also need a mat and something for tricep dips we'll be doing later on. Our first exercise, hinge, just like a deadlift, but not down all the way. Nice flat back. We're bringing those elbows up. High pull, hinge, high pull, elbows up. I try to aim for my chin. Inhale, exhale. Hips back, hips forward. Nice and tall. Let's get five more. And set those weights down. All right. I mentioned those tricep dips, that's what we have next. We're gonna start having those hands on either side of our hips. Walk those feet out, we're gonna do a single leg. One leg up, drop, and up. We're doing 30 total, 15 on each side. If you start to struggle, bring your feet in a little bit closer, still try to keep one up. Keep those hips back, close to the bench, or close to the chair. All right. Hit 15, switching my leg. And 30. Nice. Next up, we're going to work those biceps. Last week, we did our static bicep curl. We're doing that static curl again, but we're switching our hands. And we're going to do hammer static bicep curl. So we're going to hold one in that flex position, curl the other one five times. Now switch, hold and curl. One more time each side. And switch. Now 
Very nice. Shake those arms out. Next up, we are going to do a hang clean, which is kind of similar to that high pull. But we're going to flip our wrists, tuck our elbows under, and then we're going to press that weight up. Hang clean to press. We're going to do that 15 times. So it's going to look like this. That hinge, high pull, flip those wrists, and we're right here to our press. When you're here, reverse curl. Hinge, flip those wrists, and press. Reverse curl. We got five more. Setting those weights down, shaking those arms out. Next up, our exercise, commandos. We're alternating from that low plank to that high plank using those triceps. We're gonna do 10 with the right arm, 10 with the left arm, 20 total. Starting in that push-up position, down, down, up, up. Keep on the same side. can modify just by bringing those knees down. Try not to sway too much side to side. Try to keep those wrists right under those shoulders. And then 10 on the other side. Tight core. that step or bench for our push-ups. We're gonna place our feet up or knees up on that bench or step. Hands just a little bit wider than shoulder width. We're coming down into our push-up. Decline push-ups. Just like that. I want you to do 20. If you can, do 30. Shoot for 20. If you got some left in the tank, do 30. I've done a lot of push-ups the past two or three days, so my arms are pretty tired. But hey, if you're still working, keep going. So a few exercises ago, we did that hang clean to press. We're gonna step it up here. We're gonna do a burpee. 
And then we're going to do that clean from the ground up and to our press. Earlier in the week, I had you do some burpee deadlifts. It's kind of the same movement. You're just adding that wrist flick and then that press up overhead. We've got 10, 10 of those. Grab those weights. Here we go. So here, down, and then into that burpee. Up, clean from the floor. Flip those wrists. Press up. Reverse curl. Back down. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Seven. Eight. Almost there. Nice. So we've got one more exercise in our series, and we're doing speed alternating rows. As fast as you can with good form, our rows we're going to do in our bent position. I want you to shoot for 50. Now if you're feeling good, you can also go for 100. Shoot for 50 first. You still have some room left in the tank. Go more. Go for that 100. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So we have our hinge, nice flat back, looking down at the floor. All right, keep a nice straight line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. So if you hit 50, if you want to stop there, you can. You can take that break. Or maybe you're still going. Are you still going? Are you still working? 50 more? All right. One hundred. Nice. Shake those arms out. So maybe you got a little bit long of a break. Maybe you're just starting your break. Break. If you do need a quick drink, grab one now. Remember, we're doing these a second round. We're going back to our high pools, our hinge, and our upright row. 
all in one movement. We've got 20. Okay, grab those weights. Feet shoulder width apart, hinge, high pull. Ten down, ten to go. Twenty. Next up, we have our single leg tricep dip. 15 on each side, each leg, 30 total. All right, let's go. Fifteen, I'm gonna switch. Thirty. Woo. My arms are burning. Next up, we have our static hammer curl. Five and five. We'll do 10 on each arm. Hold and curl. Three, four, five, and switch. Five, switch. Five, last time here, and curl. <sighs> Done with those, nice. Now we have our hand clean to press. Our hand clean, so we're only going to about that hinge position coming up. We can drop our hips down, drop our weight, kind of like a partial squat, flip those wrists. Use that momentum, press it up. We've got 15. Here we go. Ten down. Five to go. You can do it. Let's go. Fifteen right here. Nice. Shake those arms out. You get a break from those weights. Next up, we have our commandos. 10 and 10, 20 total. Get into that push up position. Let's go. Down, down, up, 
Ten down, ten to go. Make sure to switch arms. Halfway through this second round. Hopefully you're still feeling good. My arms are feeling tired. But we've got our decline push-ups next. This round, do as many repetitions as you can until you hit failure. Count them out. Let me know how many you get. Drop your comment below. I did better than my first round. I got 31. If you're still working, awesome job, you're a beast. If you're finishing up, maybe you get a little bit longer of a break. And next up, we're doing our burpee to our clean, to our press. Combining all those moves We've got ten. Let's grab those weights All right, here we go That's one only nine more to go That was number eight for me. Two more. Keep going. Number ten. exercise. Next up, if you're sticking with me here, we've got our alternating speed rows. 
Hey, our target was 50. Now you see Benny's tail. Look here, Benny. Benny says, keep up the good work. Almost done. Right, Benny? 50, that's our target. If you can, try to get to 100. Grab those weights. Let's go. So maybe you hit your target, you can set those weights down, catch your breath. Are you still going? Yeah? Going for a hundred? Alright, you talked me into it, I'm going to do 50 more. One hundred! Nice. Shake those arms out. Maybe you had a little longer break there. Maybe you just finished. Just try to control your breathing. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Some mindful breathing. There's a lot of great research out there that shows the benefits of controlling your breathing. Stress reduction, reducing anxiety, controlling your heart rate. So maybe you're keeping count, and maybe you realize we did eight and eight. That's because our ninth exercise, I mentioned nine at the beginning. Our ninth exercise is our last one, it's our finisher. We're doing 21s with our bicep curls. We're gonna start low. And we're only curling halfway up, seven times. The next seven, halfway, and then to the top. And then our final seven, full, all the way from the bottom, all the way to the top. All right, let's grab those weights. And let's get started. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Now hold, and then to the top. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now full. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, Woo. nice, <laughs> that ninth exercise, that was a doozy, our finisher, but hey, I said we were doing all those exercises two times, that's right. We're doing this one again. I like to switch it up on that second round. We're gonna start halfway and then come up to the top for our first seven. Then we'll do low to mid for our second seven. And then that final seven full on bicep curl. Enough talking, let's get to it.
We're starting mid to the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, low to mid. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, Whew. our last seven full on bicep curls. Let's bang them out right now. Here we go, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, last one, grind it out. 21. What an arm workout. Let's take that right arm across our chest. Hook it with that left arm. Squeeze it. Again, try to control your breathing. Now, let's take our right arm up. Hand behind the back. Grab that elbow. We want to pull back and across. Good. Now, let's switch it up. Left arm across, hook and squeeze with that right arm. Let's also take that left arm up, drop that hand behind your head, grab that elbow, pull back and across. and relax all right everyone that does it for our express upper body arm workout hope you enjoyed it see you next time